Megaphone this uh, bullhorn. <clears throat> Where are all the probationers? I've got a few of them coming and going. Hey, come here, man. Are you on probation? Come here. Let me talk to you for a second. Are they asking you some money? Yeah, they're asking me for like a thousand dollars. I don't know how to pay that. You don't have to pay it. What? Yeah, you don't have to pay it, man. It's got to cost you. I'm going to spend more than a little bit of several of them. None of them are better than that. Just go on the internet, find the precedent cases. Better yet, go to the United States Supreme Court. Turn it up, bring it in, tell them to sit. Hey, are they charging you for money for being there? Are they charging you for money for being on probation? Don't pay it. Don't give them anything. These are criminals. There are criminals in there. Somebody call the police. Help! Help! Somebody call the police! I found the criminals! They're hiding out in the building here at 14180! The criminals are here! They have guns and badges! They purport to be peace officers! They are not! They are just common hoods, criminals! They are just people trying to fleece other people for money they're not entitled to! Did I do it? Did I drive? How about the mayor? Yeah, you're threatening people. Can you please take a I seat? I haven't threatened anybody. I have okay, it on Well, I'm on asking camera. you to take a seat so I can figure it out. Keep your hands out of your pockets. Why can't I have my hand like Keep pocket? your hands out of your pockets now, dude. Have I committed a crime? Yes, you're what threatening crime? people. What crime? Put your hands behind what your back. Crime? What Put crime your hands behind your back. Yeah, you're being detained. Because you're threatening people saying that you have a gun. That's why. I never said I have a gun. Okay. Well, that's why I asked time. you to please take a I seat. I have it all on recording. That's why I asked you to please take a seat. This. Sit down. Why do I have to sit? Because. That's how we do things no here. Sit down, please. Sit down. You see my arm? I have a picture on that left arm. Today, now that I know you don't have any weapons, that you're being detained. No, I, I'm not a criminal. I don't have any weapons. I don't have Why are you telling people you have a gun? I never said that I had a gun. It's all reported right okay, there. Okay, so what did you tell the it's security all officer? It's reported right there. So what did you tell the security officer? I, I was having a dialogue about him having a gun. I said that I'm a, I'm a gun owner. Uh -huh. So I'm at no point. I'm not allowed to have a gun. Actually, it's the second amendment, but yeah, yeah you're yeah, correct. Yeah, the second amendment under the Constitution. I never threatened anybody. So he's calling and making that stuff up, correct? Look, I've talked to the watch commander at the, at the social police department. Yeah, I've dealt with you before. Yeah, I don't. Oh, that's, it. that's all I'm doing. I'm not committing any crimes. I haven't done anything wrong. <laughs>
have your ID on you? You're being detained in a criminal investigation. Do you have an ID, yes or no? I'm not unless asking been, to search you. Unless I've been arrested, I am not required to be right You actually are because you're being no, investigated I for a crime. Unless I've been arrested, I'm not required to give up my Fourth Amendment right. What's your first name? I have to give you ID if I've been arrested. Lawfully arrested. No, I'm you actually have to give up ID if you're being detained. No. When you get pulled over, are you arrested? That's not true. The Where law, did you go to law school? The law says. Where did you go to law school? The law says that if. Detain me for possible crime. Yeah, and I'm detaining you for a possible for crime. Yeah, okay. you can handcuff me. You're Why? violating my civil rights. I, I do not. I do What's not, your first name? Violating my civil rights by going through my pockets. What, what is, is your first name? Have I been arrested? Hey, so you're being detained. Am I under arrest? Stop. No, Have you're I not. committed a crime? Possibly. Okay, possibly is not yet. So you're being detained. Possibly is okay, not yet. Okay, so listen to me. So you're delaying my investigation, okay? I'm a so, first member Okay, listen. Stuff, so, so I need, no, so I need to I'm identify you. I need to identify you. Okay? So I'm if you're delaying my investigation. I'm not, gonna, I'm not okay. required to, to assist you in your investigation. Well, I need to identify who you are. I have it all recorded right fine. there. There's nothing you've got on me. There's zero you've got on me. Hey, why are you being like this? I'm being like this because you guys have me sitting on a curb in handcuffs and I've committed no crime. Sir, I've committed no crime. Can you please call for a sergeant to come out here? He's and coming. These people? He's These coming. These officers have uh, illegally detained me. I've committed no crime. I'm not, I'm not uh, suspected of a crime. You are suspected of a crime, crime if you would listen no. to what we've been trying to tell you. Who said I threatened somebody with a gun? Well, that's yeah, what they said. Yeah, you did. It's preposterous. Well, that's what they said. No, that's preposterous. Okay. Well, we, we don't know that. Well, record we don't know it. that. We why were here. That that's why we're investigating. We weren't here. Come on. Man. We weren't here. Come on. Man. We weren't here. Get a grip. We weren't here. Aren't you a professional? Well, we're treating you like a professional, right? Like real. Yeah, real. like. Please talk to people who are threatening people with guns, I'm not correct? Anybody, man. Okay. I'm not threatening anybody. Well, that's the information we got. Well, so until we anybody. get to the bottom of it, how about you just cooperate? We don't have any. Do now you want water. water. You, you can't water give us your name. I'm sorry. So it's well, you're not under arrest. Because I won't, I won't no, surrender. No, I won't surrender my rights. I won't surrender my rights. You won't give me any water. Oh, you just admitted on camera that you refused to give me water because I refused to file. No, I don't have any water. We just don't drive around with water in our vehicles. Yeah, we're not water boys. Sorry. I don't know what you said. Yeah. We're not yeah, water boys. Yeah, I don't, yeah, I don't you violate carry water. my civil rights. No, you're being He's detained. violating my civil rights. You're violating my civil rights. I don't know how. This is my sergeant. You can't criminalize the protected activity. Okay, well, you're being detained. And that's all we said. Okay. You're not under arrest. You're just being detained. Where's the sergeant? Right here. He's right here. Can I stand up, sergeant? I, I committed no crime. Can I stand up? Hold on, let me get out of my car for a second. See? Okay. So just take a breather. Before he has so a chance to like talk to you, can I talk to you? Sure. Go ahead. Go ahead, sorry. I committed no crime. Can I stand up? Uh, you guys good here that I, I stand talk to you here like this. I committed no crime. He's insisted that I sit here and stand Yeah. Once I figure out what's going on, I'll be more than happy to provide him. Have I committed a crime? I don't know that yet. I, he I, says that he suspects me of a crime. Okay. I know why we're calling. I'm, I'm recording. All Perfect. So he says right. that I threatened somebody with a gun, which I never did. That's the information you laid to us, like I told you multiple times. Yeah, I'm, I'm the kind of dummy that comes out and protests in front of the probation office at the Civic Center and reports the whole thing and threatens somebody with a gun. Do I have a gun on me? I, 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 what gun am I, I threatening you with? Can I ask you a question? I think I may, what have, gun? Talked, I may have talked to you not too long ago. Did you call the police department and talk to the watch commander about, uh... You mean the watch commander that refused to address the fact that I've been illegally uh, trespassed from this building and wouldn't answer any questions as to who I would uh, inquire? I spoke to somebody uh, yeah. on the phone. Well, I, did, I did talk to somebody. Uh, so, my, my partner's explained to you why we're here, right? We're investigating the fact that somebody came here and threatened somebody else with a gun. It looks like we've already determined the fact that you don't have a gun, I'm assuming, right? Can I have a gun? Yeah. So, no. Am I under arrest? No, you're not. I'm not going to ask you any more questions. No. Okay. okay. Are we finished? I just need to see what the RP says to see if you actually I'm filing anything. a complaint against this officer. He admitted that I wouldn't give him water because I refused to surrender my I say that. But that had no water. I'm silent and keep my property in my pocket and not give him an ID until I'm arrested. I'm just, I'm asking 
Can I stand up? I'm permanently disabled. Have a fish jaw on my arm. He's got me handcuffed on my fish jaw. We patted him down, right? Yes, sir. I handcuffed me on my fish jaw. Look, I did that for dialysis. If you'll stop talking for one second. Yes. I'm gonna stand up and we'll move to the shade. How's that? I didn't catch your name. Nick. Back over here with the I know. I got you. I got a bad back too. Would you like to have a seat? Would you like to have a seat? Well, that guy, he's like, you're sitting down on the curb and like, put your legs. Like, yeah. Let me explain to you. I've been doing this for 22 years. talking about the fact that he had a gun. I said, you know, having a gun doesn't, doesn't mean anything. I mean, criminals have guns. I have a gun. So what? That's not, that doesn't give you the right to, to trust. If you trespass me, give me a piece of paper since you're formally trespassing this public access building. That guy right there. And I just tell him, you, know, you, you can't trespass public from a publicly accessible place when they're exercising a person in a crime. And it's a meaning of crime or interfering with your ability to do your job. That's why I report everything. Yeah. Um, I was talking on the loudspeaker when I had that conversation. Hey, like, have you, that what's your first name? Okay, Nick. Yeah. Hey, have you been trespassed from here earlier? Yeah. Okay, well, he's saying that you, you got a trespassing advisement last week or something. Mm -hmm. Regardless, if, don't be telling people you have guns. What, I can't say that I mean, you can say whatever you'd like, but I'm just letting you know so I'm you don't have to. I'm going to cut to the chase because I can see that are you you're, gonna let you're me all talk? professionals. Are you going to let okay. me talk? Thank you. Let me know what I'm Just don't let, if you, there's no point in getting a pissy match with the security guard saying, hey, you have a gun, I have a gun too, so don't come close to me. Really, there's no, yeah, I get what you're doing out here. It's not really worth it, right? Because right. then when I come, you right. put your hands in your pockets, you and I'm asking you to take you your hands out of your pockets, and you're telling me you don't have to listen to me. You have to go in handcuffs, right? I wasn't trying to tell you I don't have to listen. I was just like, hey, man, I'm not Okay. I'm not a criminal. I'm not you understand from our point of view, people. when we get a call that a dude may, is saying that he has a gun, and then you put your hands in your pocket, that's you. why you get put in handcuffs, I correct? Totally I totally okay. Get so, just, there's no point in getting a mismatch, right? It's all good, dude. That's why we're here. That's why I was trying to get you handcuffed, have you sit down so we can talk like men, right? So we can get to the bottom, and now well, we can leave. I don't know. No, I get you, but that's just how we do things here, right? So, but uh, the way the way I understand the law is, unless I'm under arrest, if I'm detained and like a Terry stop, if you suspect, if you have reason to suspect that I may have or am or I'm about to commit a crime, you have the right to pat me down for both your handcuffs and stop and detain me. That's why I put you in handcuffs and pat you down. But I'm not required to give up my the fourth amendment says unless I'm arrested. I'm not required to give you my ID. I'm not required to keep, keep you are, arrest. but you don't. Only if I'm arrested, lawful arrest. No, because on a traffic stop, if you're if you're not you're not being arrested on a traffic stop. It's not a traffic stop. I still have to identify you. It's, it's, it's the not same traffic stop. It's different than being in a vehicle. Okay, now I'm not going to sit here and argue. Down, I know, yeah. but in a vehicle, you're right. In a vehicle, I'm not going to sit here and go back and forth. I know what I can do. Technically, I have I can get your name, but I've dealt with you before. You're in our system, so I know who you are. Okay. I know where you're coming from. I'm just saying this, that if I'm exercising the, the First Amendment, I'm flexing the First Amendment to protest in, on a public place, and I've committed no crime, then you can not decide to I was Fourth Amendment protected Nick, ID in my pocket. Nick, but I was investigating a criminal threats I crime, know. so at that point, you kind of have to. Okay? So... I mean, I respectfully... I, I you can decline, that's fine. But well, I'm just letting you know down the road. If, if there was a crime here, then I would need your ID, okay? Yeah, so. if there's a crime, you're entitled to All right. Is there anything else we can help you with? What do you think? Can I ask you anything? You said exactly what you said. Okay. That's why you called us. So I mean, just free don't... speech, right? I can talk. Yeah, I can but say is it I smart? I didn't say it. I know, but you're telling the security guard... I'm on a wall. Nick, you're, you're telling the security guard, hey, I have a gun, you're walking around the sidewalk. Anybody's going to call the police on that, right? Well, we're having this conversation. Your, your supervisor, the sergeant, is back and forth. I think you see that I'm more than reasonable. I'm not a criminal. I'm not doing anything uh, 
I don't think it. anyone here said you're a criminal or that you're not being truthful. I know, but handcuffing me and insisting that I sit on the ground and you do it for the rest and moving my legs together Nick, and I have a fish jar that I use Nick, for dialysis. I explained to you why you were handcuffed because when I rolled up, I asked you to take your hands out of your pockets and you ignored me and you made possible. I mean, I just did this. Nick, that's all I did. Yes, I and I asked you to like take that. your hands out of your pockets and you told me you I didn't did. have to do it. at the end of the day. Well, that's what, 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 you know what, if you're going to insist that that's how it went down, I want you as a witness, I want you as a witness, are you going to insist that that's how it went down? Because I have it recorded. It I is. turned the phone around, Nick, it recorded regardless. the whole interaction. You're misrepresenting, regardless, your narrative is false. Okay, Nick, that's fine. Regardless, when I rolled up, I, I asked you to take your hand out of your pocket. I respect pocket. you, you're a professional. You turned and faced away from job. me. I know that you do too, yeah, you're a professional, you, you know, you've got no, a hard no, job to do. Sergeant, I appreciate you coming out and, and de-escalating all of this, but that's not how it went okay. down. I put my hand in my pocket, I took it out when you told me to. Okay. That's how and then that he went turned down. and walked okay. away. I, I, I think you're done here. Just let me explain something to you real quick. You guys can take off. You too. Thank you, Nick. Appreciate it. appreciate it. No worries, dude. Just next time, just be cooperative. Thank you. Thanks for being professional. I appreciate it. Thank you. I'll remember that in the future if I ever come across contact. The reason that things unfolded the way they did today is because of you. Of course. Yeah. These officers are trained. Officer safety, they said the team all that. We gotta go home. We, we gotta go home. Right? 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 I mean, if they ever die, it can't be you. They ever die. So we just gotta be the other chair. I do. My grandmother. Even though you've got all this stuff. Somebody calls and says, there's a guy at the probation building with a gun. We don't know whether or not he had a gun. We have to assume either somebody saw something or somebody was told something. Right. Absolutely. And that's why. Derelict if you don't come out and assume and, you know, a possible you have a gun. You are absolutely you right. You are absolutely right in the sense that once we determine that there's no crime, the cuffs come off. Yeah. We have, a, we have a conversation, everything's good to go, but just because you go in handcuffs doesn't mean that you're a criminal or that we're viewing you as a criminal. No, I understand. We have to make sure that the officers are safe, yeah. that you're safe, everyone else is safe, and then once the smoke clears, we dust everybody off. Sergeant, you know, go home. Sergeant, yes. Sergeant Drennan, my grandmother has had a payroll for every Army firefighter in Long Beach and Northern Department as long as they did back then. My grandfather was a city retired dead man. I got an aunt and uncle that are on the job in Montana. I'm not having a problem with law enforcement, but I do have a I do have a, a real keen interest in Texas and Arizona and the rights and all that stuff. Which you're yeah. absolutely entitled to. Sometimes there's a little disconnect between law enforcement, the Rios, and the public, you know, and between that and the prison folks, you know. Just take your hand out of your pocket, well, do I have to? Is this law? Do I have to take my pocket? I mean, it's like real cold out here. Can't it I can put my finger out of my jacket and put my hands in my pocket? Yes, I can. Technically, I can. Yes, you can, but if the officer articulates I know. That, there's a, I know. that there's a threat, that there's a weapon, I know. then he can give you the command to take your hands out. I know, but that's what I'm saying. That's where the disconnect happens. Maybe so. And that's why you're the professionals with the gun. I have nothing. The onus is on you. Right. Okay. You're absolutely right. I appreciate yeah. it. All right? I appreciate it. Take care, brother. It's pretty much. All right. Have a good one. All right. In the, in the probation office at 14180. That was a little bit hectic, huh? I'm a little bit winded. Got my adrenaline going. Cops coming out, putting me in handcuffs, sticking me on the, on the curb. Now you've accused me of threatening you with a gun. You've accused me of threatening you with a gun? That's how you behave? Somebody out here protesting your criminal behavior and you don't like it so you call the cops and tell them I threatened you with a gun? And I'm still here! I'm still here! The cops came and I'm still here! 
This is the First Amendment of the Constitution of the United States. I have a right to redress, a right to protest, a right to speech. You cannot criminalize a constitutionally protected activity. You cannot call the police and make up some phony baloney story telling them I threatened you with a gun and expect them to take me away. That's not the way it works in the United States of America. This is the United States of America. This is not North Korea. This is not Russia. This is the United States of America. We have the right to redress. We have the right to protest. We have the right to freedom of speech. And you cannot criminalize a First Amendment protected activity. You cannot call the cops and tell them that I threatened you with a gun and expect them to take me to jail. I am recording all of this. You are going to be posted on the internet. Everybody is going to see the criminal behavior, the, the terrorism taking place at one door, one eight zero. probation department come out and answer for your crimes against humanity you have perpetrated terrorist acts against the community and we demand that you come out and be held accountable criminals working at 14180 Beach Boulevard come out and answer for your crimes Thank you. 
a step, man. Let's see what's what. All right, that's enough for today. We'll come back in a couple more days and start it all up again. No boot licking. No boot licking. <laughs>